Hi there guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here and I've been out on a bit of a hike today. I'm down in the uh, south of the British Isles on the North Cornwall coast and whilst I was out walking I spotted this wild edible here which is in complete abundance down here in this coastal environment. And this wild edible here is called Umbilicus rupestris or it's commonly known as navelwort. Navelwort is a native plant to the British Isles and it's very common along the southwest, especially in Wales and Ireland as well. You also find it in Scotland, it's been documented in the southwest in Scotland, but it's not too common up there. But where you do find it, it's usually very well established. You can see that this particular plant is growing out of this old stone wall here, and even in some of the coves of this old tree stump. And it's a member of the stone crop family, so the Crassulaceae family, and it's fairly typical for those kind of plants to be growing on stony regions along the coastline where there's not a lot of soil. So if we have a closer look at the plant, you'll see why it carries the name navel wort. There's a depression there that looks a little bit like a navel and it sometimes carries the name penny wort as well. But the actual shape can differ, sometimes they can be really crinkly, other times they can be picture perfect, a little bit like these smaller ones just here. But it's a very succulent plant which is quite typical of the stone crop family. And you can see that it's quite squeaky and the leaves and the structure of the plant are very very thick. And you can see the back of it there it breezes very easily as well, holds a lot of water. It kind of comes into a little trumpet there and goes down the stem so that these leaves, these circular leaves on the end, will just taper down into one stem and that will basically be its structure and they'll all come out of one root system and sometimes formulate little colonies like it's doing just here all over this wall. If you look a little bit more closely at the actual plant you'll see these flower heads, these old flower heads, that have been shooting out of the actual root structure there. And these tend to come out later on in the year where they'll grow all the way up like this and lots of flowers that are like little tubes, little green tubes or bells just hang off of the actual stem there. And the appearance of the actual plant itself, the leaves so on, the structure, they remain the same all the way throughout its life cycle and the actual flower head is really the only main difference you see later on in the year. But it's also worth mentioning that there are no poisonous look-alikes to navel wort, which is always reassuring to know when dealing with wild edibles. There's a number of ways in which you can approach navel wort from an edible perspective. And one of the ways I eat it is just how it is, straight out of the ground, just like that. And you can eat the stem as well. And it's quite a succulent plant, so it's a bit like eating iceberg lettuce. But it does have a little bit of a strange aftertaste, which I don't find too pleasant. There are other ways of using it, you can cook it, you can make it into teas, you can even make it into medicinal teas for if you have sore throats, which is one of the things it's been used for, as being a bit of an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. It's also used on skin treatments as well for cuts and sores and various ailments to use on there, and also to treat cancer and bowel problems. So if you are interested in some of the nutritional aspects attached to navel work, it's definitely something worth looking into. And it's quite a nice wild edible to find when you're out. I know it's growing out of a stone wall here and it's not a completely natural environment but when I've been out in very wild places in the past I've actually found navel wart growing out of holes and coves in the bases of trunks where there's very little soil. And it's been pretty pleasant to take a whole batch of it, put it into a tea and use it and drink it and then eat the actual leaves afterwards and it, it does improve the flavour and just make it a little bit better and takes away that bitterness. And like a lot of wild edibles, when you're eating them you don't really feel like you're getting much substance from them, but with wild edibles like um, navel wort and also sea beet or wild spinach, which is probably one of my favourites actually, it really feels like you're eating a meal and it gives you quite a lot of nutrition as well and also you get you get some calories from it but not a lot at all. But it's it's really a wild edible that it's got quite a lot of substance to it and you really feel like you're eating something which can be lacking if you're just eating greens. Um, roots are really where to, where to aim for if you want a bit of substance but again it's effort to dig them up. But that's a whole different ball game and I really wanted to just sh share with you this wild edible here because at this time of year it's pretty prolific and it's absolutely everywhere. So thanks again for watching guys, I do appreciate you watching this video and if you're interested in any of the gear that I'm using see the links below and also there's relevant social media below also and hopefully I'll see you very soon in another video. So take care guys, thanks again.